right guys, today I'm gonna go over my method for cleaning throttle bodies in general. I'm talking about cable driven throttle bodies that get a lot of carbon on them and on the back side. It's always a good idea to clean the bore and then of course the throttle plate on there. You can see this one is uh, pretty bad on here. So we definitely wanna clean it while we're in here doing a tune up and I'm gonna show you exactly how. All right, so what you need for this obviously is a rag and throttle body cleaner. Make sure it says that it is made for throttle bodies and on the back it says it's made for coated throttle bodies. This stuff is not as strong as carb cleaner back in the day and it will actually clean the throttle plate just fine and not ruin that protective coating on there. All right, so before you start cleaning the throttle body on here, you wanna make sure that the engine is cool, the key is off, and of course pull out the ignition and our air intake system is fully off of here so we have full access to it on here and the first thing you want to do is pull it down like this and we're gonna get inside of there and start coating the edge of the plate there uh, the body itself and of course the back side of the plate it's gonna be up quite a bit of tension on there I still don't recommend pulling off the throttle turn spring it's dangerous so we're just gonna leave it on and we're gonna hold the plate um, open on here and we're just gonna start cleaning it by spraying everything let it sit for a little bit. Gonna spray our rag. And of course it's best to use some kind of gloves. This stuff is pretty strong still uh, for bare skin. So we're cleaning the outside of the plate and the bore here real quick before we start introducing anything into the engine. Then we're gonna open the plate up and we're gonna start cleaning the edge like so. You can see the stuff is still strong enough to pull the stuff off here. Now you can use a toothbrush for this, but like I said, I like to use uh, a rag on here. I feel it does a lot better job getting deep inside of here because the parts you need to get to to really clean for airflow disturbance reasons or otherwise is the edge here. And then of course the flat part of the plate on here, which we can obviously get to just fine with our rag. And you just simply wipe off the carbon and deposits on there and then you just keep cleaning it with a clean section of the rag on there. Now one other thing that I do personally, you may not want to do this, it's a little bit more dangerous, is once the vehicle's running, you have the air filter off of here, the air cleaner off of here, engine's warmed up, you can actually spray the throttle body cleaner into here and I'll get in the rest of the crevices on here and clean the air intake uh, neck on here a little bit better deep down in there. That's another option, that's the same thing we do when we do induction services, a fine spray into here, it just sucks it around in there and cleans it up.